Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today we're going to be using the good old Reliable Ropes mod once again. The one mod that is always perfectly consistent and nothing ever goes wrong. If you haven't detected the sarcasm in my voice yet, then I fear for your future. So the starting idea of this episode is to try to create a rope swing with the ropes mod. And by that, I mean like an actual swing that you sit on, but that is suspended by ropes. And I want to build kind of like a robot guy that actually swings his legs and body to get this momentum of the swinging motion and see if we can actually swing like that. The mystery that remains in front of us is how close to that idea is our final product actually going to be? You know, I got to thinking about this. You ever play that game Telephone where you have a sentence or an idea and then you say it to the next person? and then they have to say it to the next person and so on down the line. And then by the time it gets to the end of the line, the final sentence is nothing like the starting sentence. I feel like that's what scrap mechanic physics does to our creations. You have your original idea that you start with, and then you build your first test of it and it doesn't work at all like you thought. So you modify your idea to accommodate the scrap mechanic physics and it still doesn't work like you thought until you get just an end result that wasn't nearly what you had envisioned in the first place. And I feel like that's probably what's going to happen today. So I'm going to start off by building my first little test. I really probably should have tested this idea before I started this video because this could just completely not work in any way whatsoever. The main issue I'm afraid of is that these ropes will not hold a swing steady. So here's a quick test. I attach a rope to this concrete block, which is supposed to represent the swing. And that's looking okay so far. So now if I give it a little bit of this, hey! So now I'm gonna, I wanna give it like a gentle, I wish I could adjust my strength here. Oh. Does anyone have any idea what's going on here? I want to follow these ropes. Is the block... <laughs> is the block all the way over there? What? Why isn't it pulling it back? These ropes should be under extreme tension. Right? They should have broken by now. I am so confused. How far does this go? Oh my good. Oh, it just, it just keeps going. I don't think there's any... Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this back. I need to spawn in a vehicle. All right, so it goes through here. It probably just continues underground. Whoa! <laughs> that was epic. It probably just continues underground uh, and doesn't go. Yeah, it's just, it just goes underground and it's probably stuck underground. So I don't think we're getting that block back. So, um, uh, uh, I'm, my brain's racking ideas on how to save this right now. I don't know what this means. Maybe the hammer is just too strong and a gentle swing will just be much easier. <gasps> I got an idea. I know how to do another test. Okay, let's see if it holds this. It's a little bit heavier. All right, that's promising. So now my plan is just give a little bit of thrust. Oh, see? See, that, that worked okay. Look, it's working. It's stable. That's not bad at all. So see, that could just simulate, hopefully, the shifting of weight. This might work. You know, the initial tests were a little bit insane, but this has some sense of order and stability. So I think that this is promising. This is our first level of promising. Maybe being heavier was kind of the secret. What happens if I make it uneven weight? Yeah, that's still not bad. It seems to be, it seems to be handling things pretty well. I think this is gonna work. I think we're gonna be able to have our vision at least to a certain extent. So now I'm gonna scale this up. We're gonna make this a lot bigger and then we're gonna try to attach like some type of robot thing that hopefully is able to swing.
All right, guys, I think we built the swinger component of this. Uh, I have him so that I was imagining how a person swings on a swing. And I think I've programmed his body to do just that. So check it out. So you can see, obviously, he's gonna fall on his back right now because he's not being held up by anything. But this is the head. We got the body, we got the arms, we got the legs, and we can sit here right in his lap. And uh, when you press button number one, you can see he goes into, like, he straightens his legs, and he will lean back, essentially. If he was upright, he would lean back. Here, let's actually weld him so this makes a little bit more sense visually. There we go. So now the swing is welded. So, see? He doesn't lean back as far as I wanted him to, but that's mostly because I had to build him with his arms starting at 90 degrees. It would have been easier if his arms could be started at a steeper bent angle so then they could straighten even more. So I'm hoping that just being able to shift weight like this is going to be enough to get him going. So I'm going to go ahead and paint him up, and then we're going to try to attach him to this swing thing and hope that this isn't going to completely completely mess everything up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the rope swinger, I think, is now ready. So, can I get into the seat here? So, if I press number two, you can see the rope's attached. So, now, the moment of truth, when I detach Johnny's swing here from this stand, is he going to glitch out and fly across the map and disappear, or will he be stably hanging on a rope swing? We're gonna find out in three, two, one, drop! Good sign so far. Everything is still here. Everything is still in this realm. So now is probably the part where I'm gonna get very disappointed. I'm gonna extend his legs and arms and we're gonna see if we start a swinging process or perhaps we glitch out completely or perhaps we just kind of stay in place, which I, I feel like we're just gonna stay in place. We might need a little bit of a nudge, but let's see what happens. Here we go. I think it's really hard to tell if this is working. I, I, there's a little bit of swing going on, but I don't know if we can build momentum. I don't know what to expect. So when I was doing those initial tests at the beginning of the video and I did the thruster, one thing I did notice that concerned me a little bit, it did seem like the swing was dampened way sooner than what would be physically expected in, re in the real world. So you might be experiencing that dampening effect that is preventing us from actually swinging. So what we could do, with a slight modification to our original plan, playing this telephone game again with the scrap mechanic physics, we could add a thruster um, right under his butt so it'll look like he's kind of farting out thrust. And we could use that initially just to get us started in a swing. And then we can see if we can use our legs and body to maintain or amplify that swing. But I think we may just need to get started initially. Because getting started from a standstill on a swing isn't the easiest thing to do. Alright, here we go. Now we get a thruster on a different key completely. So if we do this, we can get a swing started. Oh man, it's working. Alright, so now... We should be able to swing more with that. Oh yeah, it is totally dampening everything so bad. Look at that, that is terrible. Look, it just, we stopped. We, we should not have stopped that quickly. Clearly, scrap mechanic physics is just getting in our way at this point. So I think what we're gonna have to do is, I'm just gonna press both buttons at the same time. And look at that, now it, it actually looks like it's working. So let me go back. And man, look at how much energy we lose on the backswing. We're losing so much energy on the backswing. We don't go back nearly as far as we go forward. But this is actually, look at this. We have a swing now. This is totally working. Man, so imagine, I'm going to, we're gonna take this to an extreme. I, this is just, this is just the beginning right now. We're gonna make this thruster a lot more powerful for sure. We're gonna see what happens when we try to swing all the way around. But right now, I love the swing, the swinging, swinging animation looks so good. I am very proud of that swinging animation. And I'm just kind of realizing that I feel like my thighs are a lot longer than they should be. Look at how, yeah, that looks unnatural. Oh well, we're sticking with it. It looks, it looks good when they're straight, but it does not look good when the Ds are bent. All right, so I think this is as much as we're going to get out of this current thruster power, but we can totally... Here, I'm just going to hold it, actually. Let's see what happens if I hold it. All right, here we go. We're holding it. And yep, that's about what I expected. I'm really surprised the ropes is holding up this well. The ropes mod is holding up really, really well. I honestly thought this thing was going to get 
flung all over the place. All right, so I'm just gonna go up to max power now on the thruster. I don't know how much max power on a single thruster is gonna be with this, but worst case scenario, we can add another thruster. Oh, we're gonna start doing tricks with this. Uh, yeah, that thruster is a little, uh-oh, uh-oh, this is bad. This, why is that happening? That's bad. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh no, we are so off course here. This is not good. Okay, so we clearly got a problem with the thruster being so far down now. I don't know how to fix that, to be honest. Like, there's really no room to place the thruster anywhere else. Look at this! Whoa, what was that? That's weird. We're, like, stopping in such a strange way. That is not what I was expecting to happen. Oh, no. What is this turning into now? Oh, we're gonna go flying. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> All right, we need to put this. Oh, no, there we go. We're going over almost. Okay. All right, I don't even know what this is turning into now. This is not the type of swing that you want to be on. This is, ooh, this is not a safe swing, guys. If you see a swing that looks like this in the park, do not get on it. All right, so for lack of other options, I'm just going to slap a thruster right onto his back there, and we're going to hope that this makes us swing straighter. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to do the swing. There we go. That looks like a good swing. Look at that. And we lose like 50% of our energy just by coming back. Oh, 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 this is bad. This is bad. We put slack in the rope. Ooh. I'm actually really surprised. Did you just break? In the first tests, when there was slack in it, after I hit it with the hammer, it just went flying off the map and disappeared. I'm really surprised that's not happening with us. Maybe more weight equals more stability with the ropes. All right, here we go. Going all the way over. Look at that. It worked. Oh my goodness. We're doing it. We're at, we're at an odd angle, but this is working and it's not glitching out. What more can you ask for? This is turning into a way more successful idea than I ever thought it was going to be. Okay. We need to calm down. We really need to calm down. Someone's going to get hurt. Oh, well, you ever get this going on a swing where you start going on this weird sideways motion and then you're actually afraid you're going to hit the sidebars? Yeah, I remember those days. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold the thruster open the entire time and we're going to see how long he can swing around until this thing glitches out. Place your bets now. How many swings can we get before he stops, he crashes into the side or glitches out? I'm going to go with 11. Here we go. Oh no, this is off to a terrible start. One. This is off to an absolutely terrible start. Two. Okay, we got two swings. That one didn't count. We had already contaminated the results with our previous swings. We need to start fresh. We need to start at zero. All right, now we should be perfectly aligned. So take your guesses. How many swings now? I'm sticking with 11. That was my original guess. I'm just going to stick with it. All right, here we go. Oh, it starts off so bad. This is going to be bad. All right, one. We're going to get two again, aren't we? Two. Oh no. Three. This is getting crazy. Four. Five. Oh. What is happening to my character? Oh no. This is not, this is not healthy. Look at the smoke ring. Oh, he's good. He's, he's back. Everything's safe. I cannot believe this creation is still intact right now after that. You think we can beat five? Now I kind of feel like just starting off center might even, we might cancel out somehow. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, here we go. There's one, and this is terrible. There's two. This is getting worse. There's three, there's four, and there's five. We're still going, it counts. There's six, we haven't stopped yet. There's seven. There's eight. <laughs> oh no, it's happening to my character again. Why does this happen? You're not on the seat. The seat is below. What is he doing? His legs are completely separate from the physics of his torso. What? I have never seen the character behave like this. I've never seen his, his legs are like dangling loosely, but his torso is free. His arms are so much longer than they should be. Everything is wrong with you. It seems like what's happening is when we hold the thruster, every single consecutive rotation ends up providing increased centripetal force, which makes the rope stretch more and more and more until we hit the ground, basically. So the issue 
I think is actually solvable. We just get rid of this bar. This bar is what we're crashing into. So you know what? Here, here. Problem solved right here. Ready for this? Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to Johnny here? And separate. <laughs> Look, it's on his lap. The whole bar is just sitting on his lap. All right, come down here. There we go. Okay, look at that. We're perfect now. Now, how long until we stop? I'm, I'm thinking we're going to reach 11 this time. If we don't hit one of the sidebars, we might reach 11. Here we go. Oh, always off to the side to start off with. One, we're going to hit the side. Oh, two. Three, we're hitting the ground this time. Four. Five. Six. Oh, we're reversing. Seven, and now we're going in the opposite direction. The ropes are twisted. You can see the X in the rope. That shouldn't be happening. Okay, now we're going the other way. This is two, this is three in the other direction. Four, and now we've switched directions again. That's not the result I was expecting, to be honest. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Oh, this is a nice start. No, it's not. Never mind. It totally got ruined on the apex. All right, one, two, Three, four, five. This is not too bad. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. Ten, eleven. We broke eleven. Twelve, thirteen. It seems like our biggest risk now is flipping and going the other way. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, we might go, we're going for a world record. 18, 19, uh oh, I thought we were flipping. 20, we broke 20, 21, uh oh, 22. I keep thinking that we're reversing directions and then we flip over. 23, 24, oh, here we go, 25. We got up to 25 in a row before we switched directions that time. We have a new world record on scrap mechanic, robot, rope swinging swings. Well, I have to say, based on what we achieved, this is like 90% of my final vision, which is pretty impressive considering we're using scrap mechanic physics and the ropes mod. The only real difference is that I was more reliant on a thruster than I ever wanted to be. I wanted to hopefully be able to use just my body shifting to be able to swing myself. But as we can see, the uh, the, the inertia of the ropes mod swinging here, it just does not have a very smooth swinging uh, physics. So thruster it is, which inevitably leads us to being able to do this, which I don't think we would have been able to do at all with just our legs and arms <laughs> the most intense swing of all time so leave a thumbs up for johnny and if you have any other crazy ideas you'd like to see me try in scrap mechanic then let me know down in the comments below if you like this video maybe try checking out one of these videos on the end screen right here hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrap man and i'll see you next time bye